All right, we're going to do another problem here where we're finding the inverse of a function. So we use the same steps as in the previous video. We're going to start with the function itself, f of x equals 2x plus 3. And then we're going to replace f of x by y, y equals 2x plus 3. And then switch the x and the y, so x is equal to 2y plus 3. Solve for y. Let's subtract 3 from both sides, and that gives us x minus 3 is equal to 2y. And then dividing by 2, both sides, we get x minus 3 over 2 equals y. And the last step for getting the inverse is now just replace this y by the inverse notation, f negative 1, or f inverse. And I'm going to write it on the left side instead of on the right side here. So f inverse of x is equal to x minus 3 over 2. So here to here, we're just doing a notation change, and that's it. And there is the inverse function of f of x. And it's good to check it out and make sure we found it correctly. And we can do that by making sure that f and its inverse undo each other. So whether we start with f or we start with the inverse function, when we put in an x, eventually we should get the x back out again. Let's start with f of x. f of x is equal to 2x plus 3. And now we want to find f of f inverse of x. And that's equal to 2 times. And we want to put in the inverse function here instead of x. So we have x minus 3 over 2 bring down the plus 3. 2's cancel out, giving us x minus 3 plus 3. And the 3's cancel out, giving us x. So that one worked. And now we need to check that starting with the inverse instead, again, we get x out again. Starting with f inverse, which is equal to x minus 3 over 2, we now want f inverse of f of x. So in place of x, we're going to put the original f of x, 2x plus 3, and then bring down the minus 3. And it's all over 2. The 3's cancel out, leaving us 2x over 2. And the 2's cancel out, leaving us x. So yes, it worked out. We got x back in both cases, which means we correctly found the inverse function of f of x.